Hi, Internet friends. Hi, Internet friends. You might be wondering why you're getting this strange camera angle. Well, my screen recording software has got kaput. What a coincidence. <laughs> Fancy that. Don't worry. I'm only my paranoid imagination. Not to worry. I have to do it by hand, but we're going to have a quick chat. Very quick. I'm going to make this five minutes if it kills me. Malaysian elections are just done. Dr. Mahathir Mohamed is now the Prime Minister of Malaysia. But rest assured, we hope and pray that Malaysia can get back into its role as a stable and vocal voice against the Israeli state and that Dr. Mahathir can um, get back to the business. Everybody's hoping. It's a pretty, pretty big win uh, for him against the sitting Prime Minister Najib Razak. That's all I have to say. And also Dr. Mahathir has criticised China heavily. Now, because my software is stuffed, I'm going to have to use my phone camera. 4K, 60 frames per sec. Oh man, come on. The technology is incredible. It can be used for good. We need to address the current firing of rockets and very quickly, some very simple facts about why there will be no World War III. Again, why this war will be probably short in a very short acute phase. It's not even a war. It's just the continuation of the crap. They're just going to grind everyone down low intensity warfare. And you're going to see that Putin and Netanyahu are working together. It's so freaking obvious. And all the clowns that are worshipping that big bird jawline receding baby kissing pretend Democrat fingernail pulling a sad grow. I mean, come on. Give it the driveling garbage that is coming out of the alternative media. Talk about Russian bots. What, what, what's, what's Putin going to do next? Raise the dead? Walk on water? Anything else he's going to do? So Russia today is gold and you can trust Russia today, but the BBC is bad. You know, that's polarization. That's the dialectic. Now, this narrative I'm pushing and others, Joseph and John and Jaleel and, and um, Fitzpatrick and former and a whole bunch of people, just a whole bunch of people, individuals. We're not employed by the Jesuits and the Muslim Brotherhood. We've just got two eyes, two ears and some fingers who can, you know, Google stuff and go, wait a minute. We also have friends in the region. OK, we, we get stuff from the region. You need to understand this narrative has legs. You're going to see Putin fall out of favor so quick, so quick. You're going to have not egg on your face. You're going to have runny, brown, stinking diarrhea. And I'm not going to let you off the hook in true Scorpio fashion. I'm going to stand on your head and I'm going to rub it in and go, how do you like that? Putin, a hero. Putin, the savior of the Middle East. Yeah. And Iran. Oh, Iran fractured and broken up completely the Arab world. I'm going to prove to you, which I've been saying a thousand times, just with simple analysis of re easily available articles, that it's beyond question that Netanyahu are working together completely. I'll direct you to the site and you just go through them. This is not an exhaustive list of articles. Billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars in high technology contracts between Russia and Israel, and they are like thick as Syrian thieves. And you ignore it. I'm talking to the general players. Now I'm getting requests for interviews from some, from some big names now. So this is going to get legs. You're going to have egg on your face. You're going to have egg on your face about the Telpilt program. You're going to have egg on your face about worshipping Putin and Assad. And to think that I only woke up in late January 2017 and I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed at how I'd been sucked in like a fool. And I realized I'm still an early adopter. That's bad. That's really bad. The war will be short. It'll just, Israel just, you don't understand technology. You don't understand military high technology. If you understood it, you would understand how that idiot Nezrala, death to America, death to Israel, will rain down 80,000 missiles. All right, he's like a child. That's all he does all day. Mouth soft, talking smack. He's going to get his head, he's dead. He is a walking dead man. Walking dead man. And as I've said a thousand times on the record, IRGC is just going to be pushed back. The whole of the proxy forces, Israeli and US troops, will just push them all back across the Euphrates. And it'll be all over. And then just the grinding will continue, setting up of Kurds in the north, breaking up, fracturing, controlling, divide and conquer. The usual method. And eventually BB builds his Dacha on the west bank of the Euphrates. So that's what's coming. There's going to be a lot of things coming. I predict the, white, the rise of the white nationalists into, into Congress soon. You're going to see them getting more money and more power because their job is to scare the bejesus out of highly educated, generally white uh, American Jews 
So they'll run to Russia and run to Israel. Then we'll have to see what happens with the United States, whether they implode it, which is possible. I don't think they will. I think they will just have a restructuring. And you will see the 1984 Oceania versus East Asia versus Europa stuff. That's what you're going to see. That sort of thing happening. Anyway, very quickly, let's film the screen because my screen recording software, just my red screen recording software, nothing else. Don't worry, I'm paranoid. Let's get cracking. So this is a short video. Okay, this is just an, a, a conglomeration of articles. Joseph Davis, just a guy, works nine to five with his wife and children. Um, he's just a guy doing this. He's not the CIA. He's not the Muslim Brotherhood. He's got a brain. Israel's world order, how tiny Israel dominates globally. And there you go. And just have a look through there. And it's all there. Jewish power, Israel and Russia. Jewish power, Israel and China, the new Silk Road. So all around the Silk Road, smart cities shoving Asians in the Middle East into smart cities where they can be sterilized and controlled. And then we all follow suit. Jews and Gentiles alike. We're all going in. This one, Chinese tech giant, maybe first victim of new US Cold War. Now, isn't this strange? Isn't this ridiculous? Imagine this. Imagine this. Get this. This is incredible. Donald Trump has said, out and out, China's the new enemy. And who's bragging, bragging that they now have teamed up with China and Russia, the enemies of the United States, and are handing stolen US technology to these people. You'd think something should twig and something should happen from that. Israel should now be on that list. That's how crazy it's become. Where's the analysis? Where's the analysis? Now, billions and billions and billions of dollars that would have been flowing into American taxpayers' pockets are now flowing into where? It's flowing into where? It's flowing into Israeli. Israel, China, technology. Oh, how difficult is this? Brandon, you're a genius. Your research is amazing. China and Israel, a perfect match. Do you want to read this? Growing steady, China is the times of Israel. Why Israel is the new promised land for Chinese investors. The new era of Israel-China relations. How Israel and China signed 300 million I mean, it goes on for hundreds and hundreds of articles. And your alt media gurus all missed it. No one's connecting the dots except old Brendan and his friends. What does that tell you about the standard of the alt media? A bunch of freaking money grubbing frauds frauds i mean my favorite one is very simple how china technology and um ally is the ally an ally how israel used weapons and technology to become an ally of china for crying out loud i mean what do you need Let, let's get that we got we got to get this up we got to get the picture up. That's oh, not going to do it. There was a different picture before. It was really good. The secret circuitous journey began late one February when an unmarked took off from Ben Gurion Airport, Tel Aviv, Israel, roughly 15 hours later. Blah, 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 blah. German speaking Chinese navigators boarded the aircraft for its fourth final job to a sealed military base. There, they went to a nearby compound. There you go. The first technology transfers in 79. And of course, if you know your basic history, um, China and Israel and the Rothschilds have been in China for a very, very, very long time. I've just, I'm going to end this now. If I have to explain the narrative to you now, you're a freaking retard. And the sad fact you have to ask is why are so few, if any, that I know of with any audience are exposing the simple self-evident fact. China, Russia and Israel are working together, hand in hand, iron fist in iron glove. End of story. With Israel admitting it's stealing tech hand over fist, being handed by US military contractors, their SANIM network, their compromised fools in the US military are sucking that technology into China and distributing to Russia and Israel and, and China. The sworn enemy is now the United States. Is Israel now the official enemy of the United States? You go, of course not. You understand the leverage this gives? This simple analysis a two-year-old could do? Who's telling you this? Why am I telling you this? Where, where is everybody else?
Do you understand why I get frustrated? And I'm in a country with very close ties economically with China. That's my difficulty, but I still told you. It's getting legs, people. You're going to have egg on your face. Simple fact. Putin and Netanyahu are like this. Netanyahu runs Putin. Putin runs Syria. Israel runs Syria. Watch this little war unfold. It's going to be a slaughter. It's going to be a slaughter and Putin's going to do nothing. And, and you're going to have a lot of egg, a lot of runny diarrhea on your face.